There's nothing like a, the sun setting on a beautiful homemade quilt. Let's get started back on this beautiful quilt from a fun time coloring book. We've done and bordered 16 blocks and it looks like it's all going to be for a boy. So we need to make sure we make it sturdy for him and that he would like it and have many, many years of using it and having fun with it and keeping it and keeping him warm so we are going to look at batting first and then we are going to go in to cutting our blocks and sewing it all together so let's get started and quilt this thing and get it done okay there's different type of battings we have the good old cheapo batting which this is what I'm going to use because I, I generally give away all my quilts anyway. So this right here will work great. Okay. Now I'm going to tell you about the, the shows that we watch. I have been looking at what they have been using and everything. And mostly us poor people we use this because it's the cheapest thing to go by. We have cotton batting. Now, some shows use this 100% cotton, but we cannot afford this for every quilt. There's just no way. Now, I have been watching them and looking at what they've been using, and not what they say they use, but the picture, because the picture shows it makes, oh, you can learn a lot from just looking at the picture. Okay? Now, I've noticed that some of them has used this. Move out of my way, Mommy. You, look, you are stopping me already. And it's this, this right here kind of stuff. I forget what it's called. But I call it Christmas material. Because I don't know what else to call it. Because they make all kinds of stuff around Christmas time with this. And I have seen them use this for their writing. Because they're just using one little square, you know, to show you what you're doing. And I've also noticed that they have used this stuff. And this right here is that soft, like, fleece stuff. And it stretches and all. And I've seen them use it. And I'm like, Ugh. you know, it's they are deceiving with what they are using. So, I don't want to be deceiving on this thing. Uh, everything I do, I want it to be the right, what I'm, I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use. I like to keep my videos real, and no lies, because I don't have to worry about man, I have to worry about God, and what he thinks of me. Alright, so what we're going to do first is I'm going to find uh, what I want for my backing for this quilt, and then we'll be back. Right now, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do. And can you see that wagging tail? She is sitting on it. So, this is going to be very difficult, because I'm trying to figure out the yardage and everything to put the, put, to put it this quilt on this. I mean, can you see? It's football. And then I have this right here to, to go with it too. And I'm trying to figure it out, but she ain't going to let me. I think now we can figure out why the cat does not want to go outside and she is bothering me. It's too cold out there for her, and she can't stay warm out there in this right here snow. Okay, since my cat took over, I come in here in my bedroom. Alright, now I have them laid out on the backing that I want. And I'm going to have to iron the backing. 
to make it uh, lay flatter. It's all wrinkled up and everything. And then the other material that I showed you, I'm going to put right a border right here and so to make it a little longer but <clears throat> as far as these right here go so like you got white no get down oh no but get down get get down uh, okay <laughs> okay let's continue on as you can tell white 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 all the way through then we got blue 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 green green brown then we got brown right here then green and then blue okay and they are separated into what they are like all the animals the sports outside and um airplanes and stuff like that and the sun so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take these so all of them into a line as you see it here all right, then when I get back, I hope I can do this. I got Mama Cat in the way. Let me scoot you over. There you go, Mama Cat. Get up here and lie down now. All right, I have <laughs> I have this right here ready to go. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to... I want to keep these right here, and I have them in a row here. And they're kind of like even... It's a little bit off, but it's close enough for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to even this out. Now this right here is the back that I want to use on that uh, quilt. So now that we are done with that, we're going to move that out of the way. And now we are going to get this one out, and I'm going to line it up and we are going to even it out well i thought we was there we go uh, i shouldn't have moved it <laughs> there we go all right let's line this up down here and we are going to even it out because it is all messed up Alrighty. Now, what I want to do is I want to make three inch strips. Now, and we, I want, let's see, I'm going to say, I'm going to say two of them because I believe two will work just great for what I want. Okay, and that's just three for right now. We'll come back to it if we need to. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take, open them out here. I'm going to set two over here on this side. And I want to sew these right here. I'm going to have to have another one. Yep, I'm going to have to have another one. Right in between them. Because I'm going to have to have three of these bad babies. Because there's four things. So I need, an, I need, I need another one. So we're going to slap us another one on. So here we go with another one. I'll well, make sure we've got enough. Make sure everything is lined up. There we go. Alright. We're going to sew them together. And then we still got our fiber fill. We got to figure out what we're going to do with it. So we'll be back. Got my table back. And it's turned out pretty good. Pretty good. And look, she hasn't left yet. I don't know about her, but I guess we'll keep her because I love her. Okay, so now that I'm going to take this off. And where I had cut my strips out earlier, I have one remaining. Because remember the way I folded, I folded it in half, and then I folded it in half? 
fold it in half this way, and then I fold it in half that way, and then I cut it. Okay, so now I have two of these strips, okay? And I took the ends off of the other one, the, this right here, and I took it to them, and I'm going to sew them to the end of these to make them long enough to sew them to this, so that it hopefully will make it wide enough to put this on. But we will see when I get these right here sewed on there. So I'm going to get busy, and I'm going to get that done. I have got it sewed on to the back. I still need to trim it, but that's okay. But it's looking pretty good. So <clears throat> it will fit from from here to the other end. And then this right here will go over that way. So we're good there. This right here is what we need to fill in now. So I'm going to go, and we'll cut this right here. And I, I need six on this side and six on the other side to make it the same. So let's go cut us some more material. Alrighty, now we need to cut six over and right there it is. You know what, I'm gonna do seven just in case that I need it. And I need to turn this around so I can cut it. There's six up here. We're fine. Let's move down here. I'm at seven. I want seven. I'm doing it a little bit extra so that we have extra to play with. So there is one. All right. Now we're going to open it up and we're going to do this again. Seven, right there. Come down here. And we want seven here. Now, we're going to sew them on. Okay. Since we got that done, let me find the ends. Oh, I got the wrong one. No, I didn't either. Right here. We got to trim these right here off. And we got to trim those off on that thing too. So we might as well get our gear out here and go to trimming. So I'm going to trim all of it down. So we have that one. Then we have this one. Now we aren't done with this one. Because I just laid it out on the bed, and I want to put strips right here. Okay, so let's get our next one out, and we're going to give it a trim down. Okay, that one's fine. That one's fine, so we got to go down here at the end. All right. And we are going to trim these off. Then, what we're going to do is get started, and we're going to uh, put some more on the backing, because I just laid it out on my bed, and it needs more. So, we want to make sure that we have enough on there. Now, whenever I cut these out... I forgot that I folded it. So, I have two more of these. Like this. So, what I'm going to do with these is I'm just going to take one of them. And I'm going to cut this bad baby in half. And I'm going to put one on one side and one on the other. Oh boy, let's see, this is seven, so I want three and a half, which is right there. Okay, so now we have three and a half inches, and we're going to put one on one side of it and one on the other side. So when I get done with that, then we will be back. Yeah, I'm thinking of 
that this right here is a good, good move. Because look, if I lay that down here and I stretch it out, can you see yeah, how much green I got there? If I tried to take care of that, that right there would have been wrong. So I think this is a good move. Now the question is, is it long enough? Yep, that's going to be long enough. So, I'm I'm like, wow, I got to show them how my cutting is. Because my cutting is, it's not good there. So, let's pin this down. Let's get this right here part done. And let's get to the batting. Because I think it is time to get this quilt done. And I've already got um, a man, a man looking at this quilt, wanting it. And believe it or not, I already gave him a quilt. And he's like, I want that. I want that. Okay, so let's get busy and let's get this done. Okay, can you tell what I got out here? I got it out finally. Now, I measured my quilt top wide and limp so I need it 47 by 67 <coughs> now what I'm going to do <coughs> is I'm going to add let's make that 50 by 70 and that should give us enough so that's what we're going to do Alright, so we're going to start down here at the bottom, and I'm going to go up to 50. Let's get this out of the way, and let's go 50 right here. Okay, we're going to go in the middle, and we are going to go 50 again, and then we're going to go all the way across and we're going to do 50 again okay now then we are going to draw this across and over here now we're going to give her a whack all the way across okay there we go now we'll throw that one over there no let's open it up and we're going to open it up in half we're going to fold this bad baby like this we're going to fold it i'm going to turn it this way this time now i got it out here like this make sure we're all doing good down there now we're going to go 70. so um Let's get a calculator out. Come on, turn on. All right, 70 divided into 2 equals 35. So now we want to go 35. Let's get this. Nope, I don't need that. Wrong thing. All right. So we're going to go from this way all the way up, and we're going to go 35. Now this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to add another inch to it. I may have to cut it off, but that's okay with me. Just in case that I need that. Okay. Make sure I did that one right. So 36. You want this one right here. 36. And now we want back here. 36. Alrighty. Now then, let's get this one right here ready to have. 
back all. And we are going to cut it down too. Alrighty, I'm going to finish cutting this out and then we'll be back because i got to get the rest of the stuff figured out. But lay down on my bed again on my board and it is looking good we are happy with it now we're going to be going and we are going to pin it down and the way we're going to pin it down is we're going to make sure we have a pin here and a pin here on every block on both sides and then I'm going to start in the middle of it and I'm going to go down both strips and sew it in a stitch in the ditch on both sides going down this way and then I'm going to go up this way. So whenever I get to the sewing machine then you can see me do it. Okay, we are, I've got on um, my walking foot and we are going to do stitch in the ditch. And we are going to go the short way first, and we're going to start in the middle. So, I'm going to, okay, put my needle in the middle, okay? And I'm going to go all the way this way first. When I get this one, I'm going to go to the next one. So, guess who's here to help? Now, Mama, you can't do this. I've got to move my quilt. I'm sorry, baby, but you got to go. Now, let's roll this up. Put it in there. Let's go a little bit more. This is kind of a slow process. And you have to keep adjusting and taking your time. But when you are done, it is well worth it. Now, Mama, you got to move. I love you. Alrighty, I'm going to have to stop till Mama decides to move. So what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to go ahead and do it. And then when I go down the other side, then I'll direct you on that one the same way i have got it sewed down the middles here like stitching the ditch and so far it's doing pretty good oh no we've got a lump there what's going on here it's a bullet i'm gonna go and start doing it down the long way now now we have four blocks here i have to start right here I am not going to put nothing into this yet. I may and I may not. We'll have to wait and see what happens. But right down in here is where we're going to sew. And then I'm going to continue on here. And then I'm going to go back to here. So I'm going to go start sewing on this. Looks like Mama Cat is going to sew for me. So I guess I'm completely done with this quilt because she's going to finish it. You see where she's at? I hope I can get back to it here in a minute. But she's asleep. You know what? We are just about done with this quilt. I'm telling you, we're doing good. Okay, I have it folded. But this side is over here, so I don't have to worry about pinning it or anything. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this top one, and we're going to trim off the batting a little bit, so we don't have so much batting we have to worry about. I'm going to cut it like almost even with this right here, the outer one. And I think we can handle it from there. I 
that guy right there is going to be pretty good. So, and we're going to go all the way out. So, we got that right there. Yay! Okay, now, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to fold it like this and fold it like this. And this is the way I'm going to put this quilt together. Is the the uh, fold in. Fold it in and keep it going. I think this quilt uh, is really pretty. I have put a lot of time into it and I have enjoyed it. Believe it or not. We're going to have to do this one, this again. But the next time, it has to be for a girl. I don't know why I made it for a boy. But that's the way it turned out. And I pretty well just let my conscience be my guide on this. All the time. And I just do what my conscience leads me to do. And usually I always end up with something right. And I'll... Okay, now, when I get this done, let me get back over here, let me see if you can see me, right here, okay, let's scooch it that way, okay, now we want to cut this right here down, and get some of that, we want to add out of the way too, but we don't want to cut our backing, we just want to cut that. Alrighty. Now, I'm right here in this corner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to fold it halfway down like that. Can you? Okay. You can't see it. Let me go get some help. What we're going to do in this right here, we're going to continue to fold it all the way out through. Then we are going to fold it down even with this side right here. And then we're going to fold this down a little bit. And then we're going to go right back into it and fold it over till we get us a point right here. Then we're going to pin it down. And don't stick yourself, it hurts. So we want kind of like a point here. Like it's a mitered corner, but it's not a mitered corner. So... You don't really have to worry too much about this because it's not really that big. But it will not hurt if you want to stitch it down. So I'm going to find a nice uh, seam to put right in here. And then I'm going to get busy and we're going to get this done. I will show you a picture when I get done. Okay, this right here is an NFL. And then there's a man right here. And I want to know who he is. Well, he's number 32 for the Buffalo Bills, would be my guess, by the way everything looks, saying it that, so we're talking probably about O.J. Simpson. O.J. Simpson? Okay, we have an O.J. Simpson on the back.